Matched with local and federal funds, revenue from the $1.5 billion Ohio Turnpike bonds would generate about $3 billion for the state, money that Governor Kasich says would be used to support roadwork projects in northern Ohio. And how will the bonds be paid for? Toll hikes for the next 30 years. I don't think they ought to raise them any more than they are. Tolls already cost a standard car about 50 cents for a five-mile trip. There's a lot of reasons. The economy, a lot of people out of work, a lot of people on side income. They just, you know, everything keeps going up and up and up. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, it's a nice road to drive on. It's better than potholes and ruining your car. Under the bill, Governor Kasich said that for the next 10 years, Toll rates would freeze for drivers who travel less than 30 miles. But that promise is not written into the bill, and neither is a guarantee that money generated in northern Ohio would be spent on projects in northern Ohio. If, when you say things, you should mean what you say and mean what you, you do what you say, you know. I think that's a principle, I don't care, conservative, liberal, whatever it is, that's what you should do. I think if it's from us, it should come back to us. With over $7 billion in funding to public agencies like the Department of Transportation also passing through the House, the turnpike bonds could help replace the 60-year-old turnpike's original base pavement, plus pay for other projects like the McCord Road underpass. But for now, the next step for the bill is approval from the Senate. Eric Wildstein, WNWO.